Hello, in this video we're going to review and go over some problems, uh, practice problems for finding probabilities and inverse probabilities with normal distributions using a TI-84 and TI-Inspire calculator and using the shortcuts that are built in. So, see if we can compute these four different probabilities. We got a between probability, a uh, left probability, right probability, and an outside probability. You should know how to do this. All of these we're going to let x be normal uh, with mean 41 and standard deviation 10. Use your calculator shortcuts. Go ahead and work these out. Write them down. Press pause. Work them out and then come back when you're done to check your work. <coughs> Remember I said if we need to use infinity or minus infinity, we can actually use that on the um, Inspire, at least the CAS version. But on the um, TI-84, what we're going to need to do is put some, some number out there that's going to be small enough for, for negative infinity and large enough for infinity. And what will always work is mu plus 10 sigma for infinity and mu minus 10 sigma for negative infinity. Other numbers may work just as well, but those will always work. Okay, and we just put normal CDF, put lower 35, upper 42, mu is 41, sigma is 10, paste, boom, put that, enter, and there's the answer. Similarly, it works over here. So let's, let me do one here for you, and then I'll just show you the screens on the rest with the answers. But you don't have to have anything in Y1 or anything. You just go to the home screen, go to distribution, go second, variables for distribution. If we want to do probabilities, we want number two for normal distribution. So we always use the CDF for probabilities. We go 35 for lower, upper is 42, mean is uh, 41, standard deviation is 10, and hit paste. If you don't get that screen and you just get normal CDF, you know you have to put them in this order, 35, 42, 41, 10, and hit enter, and there's the answer right there. Just that easy. Same way on the uh, in, uh, Inspire. Go to Menu, go to Probability, Distributions. We want number two, the normal CDF. We put there the lower of a bound here, which in this case was 35. The upper was 42. The mean was uh, 41. <coughs> and the standard deviation was 10. And click OK. And there it is. There's the answer. So that works them out. If you uh, work out the rest of these problems on your own, if you didn't get that one, press pause again. Now that you know that, see if you can work through this now. And once you've done your work, this is what you should come out to be. And you can see all of them worked out here. So this one. Uh, it's, can't see all the inputs here, but this one, uh, the last part's always uh, 41 and 10. So this one is 35 to 42, then comma 41, 10. That's the first one. The next one, I need to use negative infinity. I'm going to use negative 59 instead. Negative 59 to 30. It should be negative 59, 30, then comma 41, 10. You get that. And then this one is 45 and up, so this will be 45. Instead of infinity, we're going to use 141, comma, uh, again, 41, comma, 10. Hit enter. We get that. Between these two, probably the easiest way to do is 1 minus. This is not a between. It's outside. So probably the best way to do is to do 1 minus the inside. So we could do 1 minus normal CDF from 38 to 45. So 38, comma, 45, comma, 41, comma, 10. But do 1 minus that, and we get that. Uh, here it is on the Inspire. You can see the, the parameters. And the, what's in the parentheses here is exactly what's in the parentheses here in the same order, except that when there's a negative infinity here in the, in the 84, I used a negative 59. And where there's an infinity, I used a 141 on the TI-84. Otherwise, I did it exactly the same way. This last one I did two ways. I did one minus the norm, normal CDF of the, between the two, probably between the two, and then I did it each one of these two separately using negative infinity and infinity and then add those up. I could have done the 84 the same way, just not use 
you know, again, use negative 59 for negative infinity and 141 here for infinity. And to the limits of our calculator, these would all worked out the same thing. And there we go. Uh, if you're, you know, if these inputs are accurate out that many digits, then these answers are accurate out that many digits. Much more than you're going to get in a table and much more accurate, much quicker to find them as well. Now, what about some inverse norms? Well, if you wanted to use inverse norm, we just do the probability that x is less than a is 0.75. We plug that in as our, as our uh, it'll say area. Of course, it's, it's only an area under the CDF curve, a PDF curve, but that's fine. So we would do this by doing second distributions. If we want to find an inverse probability, in other words, find the corresponding x, when we know the probability, we're going to use number 3. When it says area, that means area to the left or probability to the left, which is 0.75. And mean was, uh, I think mean was still 41, and standard deviation is still 10. And click paste. Or if it doesn't come up with that little wizard, you just have to know the order. It's inverse norm, left probability, mean, standard deviation, hit enter. And we get that. I just forgot to, I got the right answers. I just forgot to type them in. Let me go ahead and fix that now.